Hey there guys and welcome back. So, after the first video what I put up for this year, um, I asked a couple of questions about what you guys would like to see for the channel. And some of the stuff what you mentioned about is a little bit of other parts to do with the hobby. And like uh, trucks, trailers, rolling stock, that sort of thing. Because um, obviously, as we all know, they are the cheaper part of the hobby to buy because locomotives can get super, super expensive. And I thought, do you know what? Brilliant, that is great and, and something that I'm going to look into this year and we have a few different things coming up that we're going to be reviewing and I am really excited to do that. So let's get kicking off with this. Now this is the GWR again, <laughs> I'm trying to do the best I can with that light. This is a GWR coach. Now, as you can see, I got this for just short of £35 from my local shop. And I'm going to quickly take this out because I want to get the shine off of that box. Here we have the coach. Now then, as you can see, out the box, it's in Hornby's standard block of ice packaging. And for a coach, this is perfectly acceptable, perfectly fine. It is rolling stock. It is not a mega expensive locomotive. And these you know it's more than adequate packaging to keep these things safe now i will say about the price again i just wanted to get it out of that box i paid 35 pound for this at my local retailer now at this present point in time of me recording this uh, i don't really want to say about a price too much online at, on hornby because i know obviously the new catalogs coming out new products so prices may change and I don't want to say something that necessarily isn't true. So I'm going to leave that price for now and the price what I uh, paid for this is um, what I'm going to go off for today's video. Now what I will do, I will just move this slightly and bring the box back in. And here, just for your reference, is the product code and the description of the coach. So that is just in case you guys want to look for one or for pick one up yourself. So let's change this camera angle slightly and let's get into a bit more of this in detail. Okay, and here it is. So the first thing that you're going to notice as I turn this, and you see from the camera, there is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful shine to the paintwork on this. This is really, really nicely painted up. I really do like the way this has been done. So, let's get, and where do we start with this? Let's see, we'll have a go from this side. So, as we can see, we have got the separately coloured doors. We have got the warning labels on the front. We have got, they aren't separately fitted, but we have got moulding just there we've got a little bit of writing underneath and that is too small for me to be able to tell what that is now i will say i'm just going to sorry just flip this over just for one quick second i'm not a hundred percent sure what this little bit here is actually meant to be if that's supposed to be more of a realistic coupling or what um so yeah, if someone can tell me a bit about that, then that I would be super grateful for that. Maybe that is some form of like super close coupling. I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, if you can tell me any more information about that, that would be absolutely wonderful. So let's carry on around the side. And as you can see here, we've got separately fitted parts. We have got a wonderful, a wonderful application of the writing. We've got stickers up here, and we've got this. It looks like it could be some form of a light, maybe near the door, supposed to be fitted. We'll have to uh, have a bit more of a check on that one. Again, you've got more detail here with like the access buttons, and this door. Sadly, it isn't separately fitted, but it actually does look like it is because it's been really well, uh, really well painted, and it looks absolutely wonderful and this just follows throughout the rest of the coach as you can see we have green on the seats there just to give a bit more color and again following 
And you may see a quite a little jump because my battery is about to die, but we'll keep going till it goes. You've got the number on the side, you have got the more stickers and warnings there, you've got all your access panels and your grills. Unfortunately that is just like a big block of plastic underneath which isn't the best. But again, it's not the worst, it's not too bad. And again, you've got all this really nice detail picked out here. You've got the springs on the bogies highlighted. You've again got some form of a small sticker right here. And then you've got the GWR really applied very nicely there. And you've got more detail on the side, more stickers fitted. Again, more detail picked out. And then the same on the end here. And you have got nice detail all the way along the roof. Now, I'll, I'll just very quickly show you this side because obviously it's going to be the same on one side as it is on the other. But again, that is just so well done. So, I think we've managed to do it before the battery dies. So we'll quickly set that down. And then what we'll do, we will go into the one or two little features about this coach. Right, okay, so let's have a look at the couple of features about this coach. And the first one is this. We have, again, the nice NEM couplings fitted. And as you can see here, they kind of have this really nice spring in action here. And you can actually, if I try and get this really close... You can see the the spring working away, and I think this is great because it just gives that gives it that bit more articulation, especially compared to those like older D-type couplings or indeed a fixed NEM coupling like this. It just means that that coach will move so much easier on the track, and I think this is a great, great little fe feature of this coach. And <clears throat> as we can see here. We have got these a wonderful, wonderful metal wheels fitted as well. And for me, features wise, that's about it. But again, I really do like this feature. It just gives that more articulation. And yeah, that is a great little thing. And also with these NEM couplings, if I can just get it so you can see there, as we can see from the back just there, if anything does happen to these NEM couplings, they are clipping, so they can be quite easily changed, which is obviously a great thing to do if uh, anything should happen to this coach. Now, I have a question for you guys. So, as you know from last year now, um, I bought the Hornby GWR um, train set. And it's one that I've been after for ages. I think it's a great little tracer and a great starter. And it comes with this single coach. So, my question is this. I have tried to find another coach, obviously, to add to it. I'm kind of after two or three, if I can. And I'm after this same type of livery, the same type of design. Now, if I just roll that along, you can see that's quite a matte finish. On this coach and if I just bring this one in here the same obviously you can see that's very nice obviously wonderful wonderful finish but it is really really shiny and a different shade if I bring this one in to what I already have now I do believe because I'm not a massive train <laughs> expert that these are actually a different kind and different type of coach. Now I have been looking all over for coaches to match this one, like I just said, but I could only find, well, what I could find was styles of coach like this. So I would love to know, has anybody found any coaches that look more like this? If so, let me know in the comments below because I definitely want to pick up, pick up some. Um, or is it just this type of livery after the starter set? Now, if it is, that's a bit of a shame because it does mean that you are going to struggle to um, to make this train longer unless you decide to change all the coaches, 
which obviously is something that you can do, but I, me personally, I'd like to have things kind of looking the same. So that is kind of my question to you guys. So if anyone can help me out with that, then that would be absolutely fantastic. But anyway, with that being said, let's carry on with this review. And as you can see, I just got to show a bit of the quality there with the hobby stuff I recently been just running away. <laughs> but right, let's get the coach that we're actually looking at today, which is Behave itself and which is staying still. This one, and let's pop this down onto the railway. Right, now then, as you know, I love to turn the lights off and I love to show these in the more natural light. But unfortunately, if I do so, as you can see, it is quite dark out. So... I'm hoping maybe that sun comes out and brightens everything up a bit so we can see this in a bit better. But at the moment, we are going to have to make do with this light. And as we can see here, this looks really, really nice down onto the layout. And as you know from a previous video, where one of my, um, I think it was one of my tankers where I did a review on, decided to just run away on its own on my track. I thought, well, let's see just how freely these things do move. Put the coach slap bang in the middle and it's holding for a second. We'll give it a slight push and see how freely this moves. So we've got the point set there, so it'll run straight on. And just giving it a little touch. And as we can see, yeah, the points do stop it. And it's not the best moving one. I have somewhat have ended up a lot further down here. Uh, and yeah, that looks really good and goes really nice. So, what we will do is with that, this bit just obviously nice and short, there's not really much else to show you there. What we'll do, we'll get this set up with the train and we'll have a look at this running around the layout. So, we've got it set up now on a train, as you can see, we've got it on the GWR after the starter set and this is the coach what comes with the set and then this is the one that we've just been looking at now obviously you can see yes there is a bit of uh, there is a difference there is more detail but compared to this one you know the finish is a lot different so I am genuinely curious you know is there a coach what will go with this actual set or are they just the same as this one so while it doesn't look too bad with the coach what's with this set again it would be nice to find some water matching so if you guys know where I can find some then that will be absolutely fantastic and we can have a look at them so we'll just get a little bit of a view of this going around the track and fortunately for me I do have some HSTs in my collection now I've got two intercities I'm just going to put the one on today and we've got the lovely Alstom Pendolino. So let's get this running and then let's have a little bit of a look at them going around the track with the coach on. Okay, so there we have it. Now, <laughs> I've not stopped it in the usual place because everything decided to go absolutely haywire and come off all over the track. So <laughs> we've stopped it here for the time being. So let me know your thoughts on this uh, coach. I think it, it looks absolutely fantastic. It's a shame because I don't think it does go fully with this set, but this, to go with the train, what um, is coloured, or the paint finish is the same as this coach. This really does look absolutely fantastic. And um, I do like the GWR colours. So I think in the future, uh, a train what more matches the colour to go with this could definitely be on the cart out of the collection. So anyway, there we have it. We've got a little coach review for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have, Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification button so you know when I upload videos. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching the video and we shall see you in the next one.